since I got my tape recorder, I wanted to make this. I wanted to make uh, a loop, a tape loop. And so I just decided to do it this time. There's really no point to this. I'm just a sucker for experimenting with stuff and trying different ideas out. I found that it was really hard to actually loop something on a one bar loop because if you cut it, it this allows you to make like a one bar only. So you have to find really samples that really work just for one bar. And because I only have four tracks, I really have to be picky about the samples that I'm using. It was really, really hard and I still couldn't do it. I had to play one of the samples on my SP-202 because it would take two bars to loop. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's really hard to actually make a beat with a one bar. You can't really have a, a sample play the whole entire loop. You have to cut it before it starts again. Otherwise, you're going to erase the beginning of the sample again. What I'll try to do next time is to actually make a two bar loop. Try to create like a, a way for the tape to go around uh, longer so I can have two bars playing. So this is how I'm saving my beat. It's in this tape. And that's, I don't know, it's something magical about that. And um, I'm going to save it somewhere inside of a little box <laughs> and keep it there. And this is where I have my beat stored at the moment. So I can always get back to it, just put it inside a tape and play it again. So there's something poetic about that and I, I think it's pretty cool. music coming out on Spotify this next Friday I have a beat tape coming out with 18 songs 18 beats uh, you can find it on Spotify and all of the platforms and that's it so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it take care stay safe I'll see you on the next one guys thank you <music>